How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back here with another video. So, of course, it's another unboxing shirt. And if you can guess by the shirt here, you know which unboxing was. Because I mentioned it, like, I think it was the last week or two weeks ago in the last unboxing video. When I had the Mega, um, uh, uh, mega Hall. When I said that I fucked up my order and bought the wrong die cast. Because I want, meant to buy a Larson Nashville Racewind die cast. And then I bought, and I accidentally bought a second Sonoma Wind die cast. But now... This package came in the mail, so now I got the Larson Nashville 2021 race win die cast. The one I fucked up for a second Sonoma win, so now we're going to redeem ourselves with this die cast here. So now, got the knife in hand, let's open it up and take a look at it. So I'm going to do slice number one, and peel that open. We got a bunch of styrofoam packing peanuts in this box. And uh, this one's being a pain in the butt, so knife. Gotta be careful not to cut myself. There we go. So that's that. We got all that here. I'm gonna try and throw these some packing peanuts in the trash down here. Real quick. As much of it as I can before we continue on. I don't want it spilling everywhere and it's a massive pain in the butt to clean it all up. So there we go. I think that's the last one, Peanuts. So now, let's bring her out of the box. Oh crap, there's a lot more. Hopefully, hopefully I got all those Peanuts in the box there, so... There we go. There, I think that's the last of it right there. Oh, we got one more. There we go. So there we go, right here. Kyle Larson, Nashville, Vavoline win. So now let's open it up and take a look. So of course it doesn't have the wrapping like the other ones does, but oh well. Who cares, really? So there we go. Get that out of the way. In the box. So yeah, right there, there it is. The Nashville race win die cast in the Vavoline scheme. And that Vavoline scheme looks very sharp with this right here. Since this was Larson's first race in the Vavoline car last year. So now, one thing left to do. Let's open her up and take it out of the box and take a look. So there we go, right there. Let's see all the stuff they have in here. So of this stuff, we don't need that. We need that. We need... We don't need that. We do need the Euro card. We do need this. See, so yeah, of course, right there, there's the hero card for Larson winning the race at Nashville last year. A race that took 3 hours and 30 minutes to complete, and Larson led 264-300 laps. And, of course, um, this was um, Lars this was Larson's most dominant winning this Cup Series career to date. Because this one, the 264-300 laps, that was around 88% of the entire race. So, yeah, this was a race where Kyle Larson put a Brazers level pounding on the entire field. I know this was a race over Ross Chastain almost pulled the win off, but he just ran out of time with Larson being able to save enough fuel for the win. So yeah, and for this um, die, these die casts, um, they made 2,148 of them. Holy shit. So yeah, if you're looking for the Nashville race win die cast, there will be a fair share of them around the internet that you can find. But now, let's open up the car and take a look with enough talk. And, voila. So yeah, this is a very nice car. So this number, it's 1,055 for the production number. So yeah, that's a really nice car here. So yeah, you mainly just got a bunch of like debris smoke here. Like the actual, the both tires are shredded on the back end. Because Larson had that big burn out here. You see in the back here it says drive for five. You got a little bit of some dirt right here from, I guess, the tire burnout and all that. And rubber buildup at Nashville. You know, really not a whole lot of race damage on it. It's just mainly like a bunch of dirt and stuff all over it. But still, nice looking car for sure. They did a good job with the detailing. And of course, some of this was NASCAR's official return to Nashville since 1984 in the Furtick Cup Series. And this was the this was actually the first time that Lars that a Favoline primary sponsored car won a cup race since Johnny Benson in 2002 at Rockingham. So yeah, this was a pretty cool sight to see. And this was, of course, Larson's third straight win last year. During what during the first of Larson's two, three race winning streaks. And we all know what happened at Pocono the week after. Less said about that, the better. 
But yeah, and of course, some Larson's win at Nashville last year. That's actually the fourth most dominant performance by an HMS driver. Shockingly. There have been three more performances that were better than Kyle Larson's. There was um, Chase Elliott's Watkins Glen performance when he led like 89% of the race in 2019. And then there was Jimmy Johnson's 2008 Fontana performance when he led well, well over 91% of the race. And the most dominant performance by an HMS winner in that. In HMS history was Jeff Gorn at Dover in 2001 when he led like 381 of 400 laps, which was like 95% of the field. But yeah, still, this was the fourth most dominant win by an HMS driver in the team's history at Kyle Larson. Just what a beautiful car to manifest in. Yes, this win was more dominant than his Coke 600 win last year. The Coke 600, that was around 82% of the race. This was 88, so yeah. Still, beautiful car I'm going to manifest in. But yeah, I got this beautiful gem added to the collection. And that fa this Valvoline scheme was actually pretty awesome last year. So yeah, pretty cool to get this paint scheme in now and get this race win die cast. So yeah, redemption here. Got another, got another Larson race win die cast to the collection. So now I'm making good progress on all the HMS race win die cast now. So yeah, anyway, that'll wrap it up for this unboxing. That's all I gotta say. Hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you on whatever I make next. It's very fitting that we do this unboxing with Nashville being next week. But yeah, anyway, see y'all later. Peace. NASCAR Heavyweight Champ out.